Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber here. So today we're going to uh, be patching a hole in a wall I broke out yesterday for a new drinking fountain. Uh, we're going to be using the Quickcrete Hydraulic Cement, which is a quick drying uh, concrete with this type of concrete. It is very hot and it dries very quickly. So you need to make sure you wear your rubber gloves, otherwise it will burn your skin. Um, hole is probably 12 by 18, so we're going to take some of our pieces that we took out of there and we're going to use them as a filler. Um, so basically once we do it, I do have my mixer, I'll just stir up my concrete in the bucket, small, very small amounts at a time. We'll start from the bottom, work our way up, and then I've got a pretty good sized piece I'm going to use kind of like a puzzle piece and stick that back in where it belongs and I'll use some of the smaller pieces for a filler. It will be behind the drinking fountain so I'm not real concerned as far as it will be flat but it doesn't need to be a completely finished surface. You can see the old outline of the other fountain here so once we get this done we'll get it scraped off and they'll be able to paint it and never know that one come out and the other one come in. Basically, we're putting a water bottle filler inside here along with the bubbler. So we did have to change the drain and water around. So stick around. Hopefully you like the video. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe button. Give me a comment at the bottom. Tell me what you think. So stick around. We'll show you how we do this. Thanks. Normally we'll take a little bit of concrete and put it in the hole just to kind of give you a bottom section and then I'll take and I'll shove that piece of brick down inside there. Kind of wedge it in there so it's not going nowhere. That way we've got the plug for the cooler portion and then we've got starting our some of our filler stuff. So this concrete is already getting hard, so we'll quickly start to fill it and get it in place. So that was our first section of concrete. We only used maybe three cups. We'll mix some more up. got some of this stuff filled in so we'll put a pretty good section in there just to get you know <coughs> fill the pieces that we have in there so that we and then once we get this hole filled then we'll go through and we'll skin coat it so that we get a nice flush uh, surface and then we're going to try to build it up so that we can get our big one in here And that's nothing more than a big filler is what we're using it for so we don't have to use quite as much cement. This quick creed is about $14 a bucket. So you want to, obviously it's not that expensive, but we really don't want to spend a ton of money when you can get the bag of concrete for about four. But this way they'll be able to paint it today and we'll be able to hang that, that drinking fountain tomorrow on it. get this stuff in here so it kind of packs in there real nice and if you wait too long like I say it does get hard on you and when it get once it starts getting hard it's pretty much garbage you have to throw it out and start over again so now this is my way of patching it obviously everyone's got their own idea um, some of the good concrete guys can do this with a $2 bag or $4 bag of ready mixed mortar, but 
Just seems like it works out better for me. You can buy this quick creed at any of the big box stores or hardware store or something like that. Now what we'll do is we'll worry about starting to skin coat this. And skin coat and basically what we'll do is we'll take and we'll put a finished coat on here. So this took me a matter of maybe five minutes to fill this, this hole in uh, with this big block here. Once we skin coat this, then we'll be able to get it so that they can paint it. They'll be able to paint it, uh, you know, an hour, hour and a half, two hours. It'll be dry in 10 minutes. But to bring that temperature, that heat from this, this uh, quick dry, uh, to bring that heat down, you know, this hydraulic cement, uh, it's going to take a little bit for it to bring it down. Then tomorrow we'll be able to anchor up top here with our, our support bracket so we can put that drinking fountain up and we can hook it up and get them going for the next when they start to use this so now one thing I forgot to mention is when you put your water in this hydraulic cement make sure it's cold water because the cold water gives you a little bit more time so if you put warm water in there well it will cure within a minute or so or at least when you put cold water in there it will give you a little bit more time to work with it obviously you don't need a lot this stuff is already hardened to a point where we can work with it I found that with regular mortar or regular concrete, what happens is, you know, you hit it, uh, you put it in there, you start troweling it, and uh, it will fall out. And then you have to re-trowel it, put it back in. Maybe it's something that I've done, but I just like the hydraulic cement for small projects, uh, small holes, stuff like that. Make sure you wear your gloves. If you don't wear your gloves, I'll tell you what, your skin will burn the next day and you'll wish you had your gloves on. So. But uh, we'll fill a little bit more up here and then we'll start to skin coat this. That's our clean out so we, if we ever have to snake this drain we don't have to take the trap off. Hopefully we can go through this clean out here. Now as you can see I'm not using the trowel right now. I just been kind of take your hand and stick it in the palm of your hand and run it off to the side and that, that will do two things. It pushes it into the little cracks and joints and also gives you a decent surface. Now being that you have really no surface here that, that is structurally uh, having an issue with it, you really don't need to get four inches of concrete in there or eight inches. You only need just enough to cover this in my personal opinion. Um, different places obviously require different stuff. With this, we're just going to put in enough so that we can hang the drinking fountain over top. Our fountain will actually be up here, so we're not as concerned with what we have to anchor to. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done here. Um, what we got going on is I just got the last little bit uh, that I'm going to trim out. This is hardening up a little bit right now. Before it gets too hard, I'll take my long trowel and I'll just uh, scrape it so that it gives us a nice finish like we got up top here. Um, so if we just get in like that, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the fat of this trowel back here at the bottom and I'm rubbing it against this wall here. Um, and then that way it will make it smooth and it will make it even. This plug is going to be in behind the drinking fountain, so we're not real concerned with that. And then all this area here will all be buried, so not a big deal with that either. This rubber glove here has got my water pipe shut off on here, so we've kept it clean. So there you have it. What we'll do is we'll take a wet rag and I'll, I'll wipe all this excess uh, concrete off so they can paint it. But that's what you get. We got, uh, again, we're using that quick free hydraulic uh, water stop cement. Very quick acting. Make sure you wear your rubber gloves. That's a key thing. It doesn't matter what your concrete looks like as long as you don't burn the, the heck out of your hands with that chemical burn. Um, basically what we'll do is we'll leave this dry. Sorry, I'm sweating. Uh, they'll paint this today. Uh, tomorrow we'll come through, we'll hang that drinking fountain bottle filler, and then everyone will be happy. We won't have to, to put our lips up against the drinking fountain. We know a lot of people don't like that, myself included. So 
so we put our bottle in that bottle filler and away we go. Uh, if you like my little video here, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, fire me a comment, tell me how you guys would have done this because everyone's got their own ideas. This is what I do, I feel as though it works for me. Um, so like I say, hopefully, you know, like I say, look how hard that is now. I mean, that's, that's rock hard right now already and I've only been at it for maybe an hour. Um, hopefully you like it. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Talk to you soon.